for workers employed in the mines and factories of the Urals, an increased supply standard was established, which was maintained until August 1920. In August, due to the general difficult situation of the Republic, the highest norm was replaced by the usual norm. In central Russia, special attention was paid to large industrial centers. Moscow, Ivanov, Tula, Nizhny Novgorod. Transport and military factories were allocated to special shock groups of the first and second categories. The above-mentioned distribution system existed until the gum of 1920. By a decree of the Council of People's Commissars of April 30, 1920, a food ration was introduced with the division of the non-agricultural population into three categories, A, B, and B. A, workers of manual labor employed in Soviet enterprises and institutions. B, persons engaged in mental and clerical labor in Soviet institutions and enterprises. B, persons employed in private enterprises, institutions and farms that do not exploit someone else's labor. The ratio of the norms of soldering between the first and second categories was taken as 4, 3. For workers and employees employed at work in enterprises of especially important importance, special supply standards were established. 